And now, please welcome Risa Shoup and Caroline Woolard. Slight technical difficulty. Okay. So far, we have heard about institutional stakeholders changing our built environment. We are here to talk about building power with resident stakeholders through democratic finance. How can we fuse investment with concern for local community? We believe that democratic investment mechanisms for affordable workspace will pave the way for the inclusive, resilient city we want. Why do we need this? Picture a vacant storefront on your block. The shuttered windows, the white paint on the glass, the retail space for lease or for rent sign. How long has it been there? What does that mean for you, for the city? It means rent goes up even if storefronts sit empty. A local hardware store's rent just went up from eight grand to 14 grand overnight. It means they go out of business. They can't afford to live here. They're moving to Florida. In our city, which just made the largest investment of, uh, of worker-owned businesses of any city in the nation, this means investing in small business workers without investing in small business space. For the Center for Family Life, a developer of worker cooperatives, it means that shared office space for member meetings and trainings is chronically overbooked. For our city, it means local character and street vibrancy are at risk. It means local wealth does not circulate. So we're members of a democratic financial organization, the New York City Real Estate Investment Cooperative. We're two out of over 350 New Yorkers who have joined together to secure permanently affordable workspace for civic, small business, and cultural use. You can become a member by giving $10 and coming to a general meeting. As a cooperative, we operate by the principle of one member, one vote. We decide together how to spend the money we pool. An expert team will investigate potential projects and present them to the membership for support after they have been vetted. The REIC can ensure that members' investments are safe and safely, slowly growing. By using legal mechanisms for permanent affordability, we will make sure that ownership structures reflect the needs of present and future communities and honor the collective power and capital used to make them possible. And we're only five months old. Here's where we are. We have over 350 members in our cooperative, over $1.3 million in investment pledges, a grant from RSF Social Finance, seven work groups that meet regularly, and over 700 RSVPs for our recent general meeting. In this early phase, we are exploring possible structures. As the case studies work group has shown, we may act as an incubator, an investment co-op, a community real estate investment trust, a loan fund, or a partnership. We can, one, turn vacant municipal properties into sustainable community resources, or two, buy property from private owners to stabilize existing businesses and community spaces, or three, formalize an agreement with the city that enables a percentage of newly constructed commercial condos be dedicated to affordable use. Our public building inventory work group has reviewed over 80 vacant commercial city properties and identified properties in good condition near retail and near the subway, like this one, as well as this one where they've made site visits, and this one where they've started conversations with potential community allies that we might work with on a potential pilot project. We are now working towards elections for an empowered leadership that will take place on January 28th. So imagine that storefront on your block again, but imagine it open, filled with your neighbors, owned by a small business, a civic organization, or a cultural group. Imagine that you have the power to make this possible, and that you can join us in building that power democratically. 
we are using the potential of the networked information era to bring economic and social justice to our built environment. We have gathered together to take the obvious next step in equitable community development by combining cooperative principles, permanent preservation, and traditional real estate investment aimed at serving sectors that have been left behind. Think of us as a business, a school, and a social movement. We invest in real estate. We share knowledge so that all members of the cooperative can participate in informed, meaningful decision making. We're transforming the next generation of civic leaders. Our aim is to secure permanently affordable workspace by connecting organizers across sectors. We know that this is at least a 10-year project, and we are here to stay. We know that we cannot have the city we want without informed, active residents. By building a cooperative, we are educating, empowering, and shaping a powerful group of New Yorkers who say, development without displacement is possible. Together, we can achieve the essential economic resilience that staves off the shocks of the market and creates the beautiful local city we want. Please join us. Thank you.